Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. One of my viewers posted a comment uh, below one of my videos and he basically um, asked if he can connect a portable screen with the DAX with the certain peripherals in a certain way and then have the portable DAX uh, option. So uh, I decided to have a quick go. Um, I'm going to try multiple different connection types to see if I can achieve having DAX to be portable and um, let's let's see how it goes because I can feel that this is going to be a messy messy video. So starting uh, first I will tell you what I have and what I'm going to be using to do this test. I have a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse, Microsoft Designer keyboard and Microsoft Designer uh, a mouse. Uh, they both already connected to the phone via Bluetooth. I'll leave a link to this keyboard on Amazon if you want to go and uh, get yourself the same keyboard and a mouse. This is the WiMaxit 15.6 inches 1080p touchscreen monitor, which I'm going to be using as a display for my decks. Again, if you want to get this monitor, I'll leave a link for you uh, for Amazon page where you can go and check it out. And if you want to, you can purchase from there. Uh, brain of all this setup will be my Note 9 which is going to be uh, basically, this is going to be a computing power. Um, I'm going to use Irulu power bank, which is 19,999 milliamps, which is basically 20,000 milliamps. And currently, I hope you can see, uh, it's right now has 19,952 uh, 19, milliamps remaining. Um, the comment of from my viewer he mentioned a, a hard drive external hard drive i do not have an external hard drive uh, to be able to test it so i'm going to use a 128 gigabytes sd card as my external storage uh, device uh, i mean like external storage uh, i have the usb type c to hdmi dongle uh, with two usb 3.0 connections sd card reader that's where i'm going to use this because then i can plug it in and I can read the data of SD card. I have a micro SD card reader here, headphone jack, HDMI uh, output, uh, power in via USB type C and ethernet connection. If I want to have an ethernet plugged in um, internet. Right. Cables mess. Uh, first one, uh, this is the USB type A to USB type B twice. This is, I don't know, this is an old standard, uh, looks like an old standard camera connection. Uh, I have a <laughs> for, um, iPhone charger, boo, and USB Type-C. I'm going to use this just to try out. Then I have a shorter HDMI cable. Then I do have a slightly longer HDMI cable to try this out. Then I have a USB Type a 3.0 to USB type C cable. Then I have USB type C to USB type C cable. And another USB type A, which is 2.0 to USB type C cable. So first I will connect all this in that way that I definitely know that it's gonna work. So I'm gonna take the battery. Uh, let's move everything around uh, away. So battery, the so first thing what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take USB type uh, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's already turning into a big mess. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna take this cable and I'm gonna plug it into a battery and plug it into the screen. And if I turn the battery on, the screen goes on. So battery right now powering the screen, which is great. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take USB type C to USB type C cable, which is uh, came in by the way with the monitor I did not, uh, uh, There was no need for me to purchase this. It came with the monitor. So that's a good thing and um, plug that in plug it into a phone Phone is charging Dex is turning on everything is powering off the bat a battery So battery sends the power to a screen and screen sends the power to a phone and now I have a screen working Hopefully I will be able to demo, uh, see, you'll be able to see that the mouse is working. So I'm clicking right click. So mouse displaying everything and I can use this as the screen. So right now I'm basically have a portable deck setup. I have a battery, a phone and a screen. I might need, I might don't need the keyboard and a mouse. 
so I can basically leave them somewhere, so I'm somewhere on the go, and I can use the, the decks or the test screen just to look through email, emails, etc., etc., and obviously um, just control something using the decks. So this is option one, which is fine, not a problem, but uh, let's go back to my viewer's comment, what about external connection? Certain portable monitors will support uh, additional input on the other side and then you'll be able to connect extra peripherals <coughs> excuse me but this monitor sadly doesn't so what i need to do i need to introduce this into this old connection mess so let's unplug the phone let's unplug this unplug this and unplug this move it down the side and we need to connect this somehow to all this and make it work first thing let's get the power going into this device okay first thing i need additional cable just realized I might need additional cable, so I'm gonna take another USB type C, two USB type C cable. So I have two now in this big pile of cables here on the left. First thing, uh, let me grab this cable. So I'm taking USB type C to USB 3.0. I plug that in here. I plug then this cable, which is somehow this make it a bit taking less space into this dongle and the dongle goes plugs in into a phone and if I press that in phone not charging okay uh, if I plug this and plug into another slot phone's not charging that's not great so 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 first of all let's get the screen working so we're gonna plug that in here this is the connection that I tried a couple of times and it was working but it's not working all the time so sometimes it does work sometimes it doesn't so at least screen is working so screen right now get no signal uh, uh, display and it's gonna go in standby mode any second which is fine by me right let me find the USB type A this cable so if I take this and I plug it in here and I'll plug it in here and I'll plug it in, in the phone. Phone is charging, which is great. That's fine. Then I'll take HDMI uh, connections. I'll plug in this monitor, by the way, has HDMI connections. So plug that in here. And I plug this into the adapter. So that's plugged in. Phone tells me HDMI is connected. DEX is starting, which is great. So I have right now all this it's connected. So, uh, Another thing, uh, test screen is not working at the moment because the one of the USB type C connections on this monitor requires input from uh, a device, which basically like a laptop, uh, Windows laptop or Samsung DeX phone to have a touch input. So I need to take USB type, do, 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 do I have no, so I need to take one of these and plug it in. Do I have additional one? No, so we're gonna try to play with this one. So if I'm gonna plug that in here, and I'll take the USB type C and just somehow just make a way between all these cables. And will it fit? Oh, I don't think it's gonna fit because the HDMI cable is in the way. Okay, so the cable that I'm using, the short cable, is not, gr not great because it's it's too wide on the sides. So I'm gonna use a longer one. So before that, let's plug in this cable first. Let's plug in this one in. Then take HDMI cable and plug that one in. And then take another HDMI cable and and plug in in here. So phone tells me HDMI is connected. Dex is starting. Do I have a touch screen? Yes, I do. So if I go around and touch screen is working, so if I go to recent apps, close them all, open a browser, close the browser, works. And now because I have this adapter connected, I can take SD card and fingers crossed, it's gonna work. So if I plug that in this adapter, which is a bit tricky, the way I'm looking at it. So is it plugged in? This is a bit weird. Okay, it is plugged in. This tells me that something is being connected. 
issue USB, USB drive. So it tells me that uh, this drive requires a uh, format, which uh, to be honest, I don't know if this has any important data on there or not. So I, to be honest, I don't really want to re reformat it. I'm just giving you two seconds. I'm just quickly looking around if I can find other, because I have a lot of these SD cards and whatnot around here. So I might have something here that might show us. So I found this D card. Right, what I'll do, I'll, I found the micro SD card. To be honest, I don't know what's on there. So I'm gonna click cancel. So click cancel, tap, cancel. Let's connect this. Let's see if it's gonna quite disconnect. Uh, let's do, okay. It tells me that it's found something. It says issue, that's fine. I don't mind it to format this micro SD card because I don't think it's anything valuable on there. Uh, your SD card is ready to be used. Let's open Total Commander, one of my favorite browsers. SD card cannot open, I think it's damaged now. Anyway, it detects uh, and obviously it requires to format to uh, a file format that is understandable by Android. So, uh, like I said, this 128 gigabytes, I can't remember what's on there, so to be honest, I don't want to really format it and then lose something valuable on there. I need to base it. Um, why not check that before recording videos? I don't know, but anyway, this works. And that's all fine. Obviously, touchscreen works, like I mentioned, but let's say if you don't have a touchscreen option, like right now, I'm going to plug this cable, which is very tight in there. Okay, so that's out. Now, you see, I can't do anything, but I have keyboard and a mouse for the Bluetooth, Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse, which then I can use uh, to move around and obviously uh, control decks. And everything is powering off this battery. How much, uh, like how many hours I have before this battery goes dead, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know. I, I need to test this out. But this is, to be honest, it feels like can be a portable DEX. Let's say you don't need to have SD card, you just need to have a DEX. Plug the phone, plug this, plug this, plug this. Okay, what's this? Right, okay, plug this. Let's take the. So we have this cable, which is, let's unplug this. We have this cable, it's a bit messy, but let's say you use a Velcro cable ties or, or something and make it a bit prettier. And then you connect, obviously, let's start. Like this, so we can do like this. Put it in here. So battery's inside. Let's turn it on. Battery's turned on. All cable is tucked in behind the behind the monitor. Next thing, you take the other cable. Let's go around it. Plug that in. Grab the phone. Plug that in. Phone starts. Cable goes in. A bit of cable management. Uh, so and you have a basically portable DEX and obviously you don't need the keyboard and the mouse because I have an option right now to control everything with my fingers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have another way to make this all work. If you wanted me to test some other connection methods, let me know in the comment section below and I'll come back to you with another video. Bye bye.